Here I have a hammerhead uh, that's um, been forged by David Esmark and it's made of uh, mild steel from the uh, 17th century and uh, here it's welded on, forged welded on steel on the heads and this hammer I will use uh, when I make uh, flute deals. Uh, so this one is made with a similar hammer and I put this on a comb and I use the hammer and strike it just beside the comb like this. Uh, and now I'm going to make a shot uh, to this hammer here and I use ash and this ash is split uh, and when you split uh, the ash you get the fibers uh, straight uh, onto uh, the direction of the shaft so it's no diagonal fibers and this makes it much stronger so when you make a hammer shaft you you uh, uh, you will have the, the fibers along the shaft like this and then you can make it a little bit thinner so uh, it gets more flexible so what I do next is I cut this down uh, with, a, with a knife so I can fit uh, the wood into the eye of the hammer here and then I will mount the hammer on the shaft Now I have made the shaft and I have uh, cut out here uh, for the wedge uh, and now the shaft fits in the eye here and uh, the, I made the wedge uh, much longer than needed so I uh, really can uh, hammer it down as much as possible and also the wedge is a little bit too wide for the eye here and that makes it really stick into the uh, slot here where it's uh, forced down. Uh, so what I do now, I just put the hammerhead on the shaft and I hammer it down like this. Make sure it really comes down as much as possible. So, yeah. Uh, it forces down only by the weight of the hammerhead. So I don't hammer only uh, the hammerhead with another hammer. Then I place the wedge in the slot here and start hammering it down. That makes it really tight here on the shop and then I cut this away with a saw. 